Thanks for joining us for another review. This one is for the Rotogrip RST-X1. The details for Angel are the same as always, 5x3.5x2.5 by by on the layout, and for the details on the ball, it comes at 3000 grit. The cover is just plain Microtrax hybrid, and we have a new core in the RST or Rotostar Tour. Microtrax is basically Roto's version of NRG, though to my knowledge it's stronger than standard NRG. Inversions of Microtrack Solid have been on the Halo, Idol, and UFO, but when it's come to Pearls and Hybrids, Roto's generally stuck with the cleaner and quicker response E-Trax formula. The Microtrax formula is going to make ball reaction uh, smoother and blendier versus E-Trax, plus increase the traction. The core numbers are a 253RG, 053 differential, and an 016 split or intermediate differential. 253 is pretty high for an RG on a stronger ASIM. It's not a high RG itself, it's just high for an ASIM. This is going to give the ball a little more natural length. 053 on the differential is pretty typical for ASIMs. A lot of flare that helps the ball get separation between the oil rings, which helps it hook more. And an 016 intermediate differential, which is again average. But this is where the extra torque from the asymmetric core comes into play that helps it be extra firm and more consistent down lane. Now all that techno babble corresponds with what we're seeing on the screen. The RST definitely hooks, but the early and smooth nature of that cover formula is balanced by the medium RG and torque of the core, and the result is a ball that has strong physics and parallax vibes. The RST feels a little more refined and a bit less angry than the physics, but more dynamic than the parallax, maybe even a bit more usable halo vision, but more continuous. Now comparing it to the Rubicon, there's also some familiarity here. E-Trax formula, but solid version, same surface prep, and though the Rubicon is a mild asymmetric, the RG is lower than the RST, which is going to make it rev and roll earlier to offset the natural length of the formula. You can still see the cover differences, though. The Rubicon is marginally quicker down lane than the RST and a little weaker overall, and these two are looking like they could be strong shape complements. Now, switching sides, I decided to take it out on the 2019 Open Championships doubles and singles pattern to give it some more oil and put it more in its element or wheelhouse than most house shots will be. Standard ASIM layout for me, 5x3.5x2.5, and, and despite it looking remarkably good for Angel, it did put her pretty far inside. And with more oil up front on this pattern, it helped the ball down the lane easier and made it sharper on the back end for me. And that's the whole point of a stronger ball, though, to play a more normal area on the lane on heavier conditions. The oil helps get the stronger ball down the lane and help it retain energy and create a stronger shape on the back end. This is why sometimes stronger balls look weaker on a house shot than weaker balls. They start hooking sooner and burning more energy earlier and end up being smoother. The RST was a little touchy from straighter, but this is a difficult pattern. Once I got inside a little and gave it some room and a little extra roll, it came to life and gave me a pretty nice look on what can be a tricky pattern. I did hop over and take a look on the house shot and was pretty impressed. I, it wasn't as overpowering as I expected, but with the strong physics vibes, I'm not sure why I thought it would be. The physics handled pretty heavy stuff, but also played well on most house shots, and I'm getting a similar read from the RST. Again, it's not quite as punchy down lane as the physics, which actually makes it more usable. Now, speaking of the physics, there's definitely more shape out of it, but you can see a solid amount of familiarity. For all those disappointed about it being discontinued, the RST is here, and while it's not a direct carbon copy, it's very similar and I think in a more usable package. The RST-X1 releases with the Idle Synergy on Black Friday, November 27th. Also, to go along with my new rated series, I give the RST-X1 a 9 on hook potential, a 5 on length, and a 5 on back end strength. Select the next comparison you'd like to see from the links on the screen, or scroll down to the description to find links to other choices. Thanks for watching, and may the strikes be with you.